An allergy is the body's unexpected reaction to something it's come into contact with. Something that triggers an allergic reaction is called an allergen. One of the most common allergens is plant pollen, which often causes hay fever. Other allergens include animal hair, insect stings, specific drugs and foods, especially penicillin, shellfish and nuts. A severe allergic reaction can happen just a few seconds after the person has come into contact with the allergen. It can affect the whole body and if not treated quickly enough, can potentially lead to death. This is called anaphylactic shock. Here's what to look for if you think someone is having an allergic reaction. With a mild allergy, they may have blotchy, itchy skin, itchy red eyes or nose, their hands or feet may swell. They may have abdominal pain, which could lead to vomiting or diarrhea. With a severe allergy, there may be wheezing or difficulty breathing, and they may complain that their chest feels tight. The tongue and throat may also swell. They may have anxiety or show signs of shock. If you think someone is having a severe allergic reaction, they may have some of the symptoms mentioned above or they may tell you they've been exposed to something they know they're allergic to. You need to get them emergency help as fast as you can, even if their symptoms are mild, but they've been exposed to something to which they are severely allergic. Call 999 or 112 straight away. Tell Ambulance Control that you think someone is having a severe allergic reaction and give them any information you have about what may have triggered it. For example, an insect sting or certain foods like peanuts. If a person knows they have a severe reaction, they may have medication with them such as an auto-injector. Check if they have one and if they do, help them use it. Follow the instructions on the auto-injector, then hold it against the leg for 10 seconds, then remove it and massage the leg for a further 10 seconds. Remember they still need medical help even if they've used their auto-injector. While waiting for help to arrive, help them into a comfortable sitting position, leaning them forward slightly to help their breathing. Keep monitoring their level of response. If they become unresponsive at any point, prepare to treat an unresponsive casualty. A second auto-injector can be used if there is no improvement or if the symptoms return. So remember, always get medical help. If you think someone is having a severe allergic reaction, Call 999 or 112. Help them with their auto-injector if they have one and make sure to monitor them and keep them comfortable. And that's how you treat someone with a severe allergic reaction. If this video has been helpful to you, help support St John Ambulance by going to saa.org.uk forward slash donate.